Hello, everyone. I'm Gary Laubach, along with Mike Joseph. This is Behind the Mic, although probably we should call it this week, not Behind the Mic, because we will not be at Harvard. The game will be on the Patriot League Network, and we will join you again in two weeks when we travel to Holy Cross. That's why it's getting colder. Every time we go to Holy Cross, it seems to be very, very cold. Mike, obviously coming off a, uh, a devastating loss, actually, 38-7 to to, to Georgetown. Our rushing game dismal. We we're only averaging 55 yards rushing. We only ran for nine yards total in that ball game. Uh, maybe the expectations were too high for the offensive line. Maybe they're just so young that uh, this is not going to be a year where we can rush the football. You know, Lafayette's, uh, they're struggling. They're struggling on both sides of the football right now, and we thought maybe the defense could kind of hold them in there while the offense caught its feet. But at the same time, uh, this is an offensive line that uh, is very young, and people have to understand that. It's a team, they are getting better each week. Um, the problem is they need to find a way to run the football and maybe put a little bit more onus on running the football and maybe owning some time of possession because uh, I remember a couple of years ago down at Georgetown, we ran the ball, didn't run it real successfully, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. we kept pounding it. And I kept telling you in the booth, you know, sometimes that pays dividends down the road just as long as you can run it. Like I said, take some time off the clock, change some field position, things like that. But until you begin to run the football, you're not going to be able to throw it. So now we take on number 18, Harvard, obviously a team that is just outstanding. Some people think that they should definitely belong in the top 10 of the FCS. It's a team we've struggled with, 13-5 and five overall. They hold the edge. We haven't beaten them now the last four times we have played them. And it's a team that looks like they're so, so difficult to defend. They average almost the same throwing the ball as they do running the, the football. And their defense has just been outstanding. They give up 10 points a game. They've been winning games by an average of 35 points. It just doesn't look like a good weekend. Uh, no, it doesn't. On paper, mm -hmm. it doesn't. But uh, you, you have to. And one of the things I'm going to talk about today on Inside the Huddle is the, the heart of a, a leopard. Um, it has to come out this week. Um, and again, so many times I say it doesn't matter who we're playing, whether it's Harvard or whoever. Harvard is a terrific football team. They have a great offensive line. Mm -hmm. They give uh, mm -hmm. their quarterback uh, an immense amount of time to throw the football, which is somewhat easy sometimes for a quarterback. But they run the football well. They take advantage of turnovers. You've seen how many turnovers they've gotten, how they turn those into points. Um, so they feed offense to defense. They play that complementary type of football that Frank Tavani's trying to get mm -hmm. this team to mm -hmm. do. Um, but this offensive line is going to be one of the best we're going to see. I, I've watched them twice. There are some chinks in the armor, which I think Lafayette can take advantage of. But inside, in their heart, Lafayette has to come out and play football today, just like they've played since they were little boys. They need to play football. They know how to play football, execute, and do the things they do well um, to really be in this football game. And you lead me to my, uh, my final observation. Frank talked this week about there's going to be changes made. Uh, he had the offensive coordinator in, the defensive coordinator in. There's going to be changes. Are the changes more about playing the game with heart, or is it more about some Xing and Oing? Uh, I think there are going to be some Xs and O changes. I really do. Uh, I think they may get back to uh, running the football the way Frank maybe wants to run the football a little bit more downhill. I talk so much about the spread attack, how the angle of approach from the running back position is tough. Defensively, um, they may try to get more guys in the box. They have to stop the run. If they don't do that, it's going to be extremely difficult for them even mm -hmm. to get a pass rush. Um, and you may see some players flip-flop and switch in positions, things like that. So I think he'll definitely put his fingerprints all over this week's game plan. Two guys won't be in the press box. Mike and I will not be there to do the Harvard game. We'll see you again in just two weeks when we travel to Holy Cross for a Patriot League contest. This has been Behind the Mic. Thanks for joining us.